Let's look at some quick tips and tricks on how to create an effective layout with a good hierarchy and some details that will help improve the overall legibility. We're going to start with a blank slate so you can see every part of what I'm thinking about as I'm making text on a page. So starting with the text block, It's given us Myriad Pro. Um, I usually like to start with, oh, let's choose something like um, Adobe Caslon. So this is more of a traditional font. It's given us 12 point font size. Let's take that down to 10. For an older audience, you want at least nine points and um, 10 or 11 is going to be as large as you would want to go for a body copy. For paragraph, the space after a return, let's take that to 7. And these are just some standards I use as I'm laying out a design. For character, we want a line height, usually one and a half. 1.3 to 1.5 is usually a good letting height. And it really depends on how much copy you're working with, if you need to reduce that a little bit more. Let's go ahead and reduce it to 1.3. Another note I want to make is on kerning, I almost always go in and any text block I may make, I will change it to an optical reading. On paragraph, I also want to turn off hyphenation. And looking at the type on the page, we want to make sure that we give the type plenty of breathing room. We don't want it too tight to the edges. And if you want to make sure that's exactly centered, you can go to Align, Align to Artboard, and Center. As you're reading, you don't want too long of a line length. So what we might do with this text is make it two columns. We can do that by going to Type, Area Type Options, Number of Columns, Two, and turn on Preview. This will help break up the text a little bit more so we get a shorter line length. And you can adjust the gutter, which is the spacing between the columns. Sometimes whenever I'm making columns, I like to change the paragraph justification to fill the lines and it reads more like a newspaper but it's very organized and you get the block visual out of it. And then for your whenever you are cleaning up the type you don't want to leave a single word an orphan or a widow at the end of a paragraph, so you usually want to move down, and I did a shift to return to get another word to go with that, so there's not just one word there. And this isn't even real copy, but we're just pretending for now. Okay, let's see, we need a heading for this. I'm going to just click For a headline, we need this to stand out a lot more. So we're going to really make this scale at large. And I'm going to go ahead and check that to optical. And then sometimes there's a subheading. And that's going to be smaller. Subheading needs to be a lot smaller. So 
something you might want to do on a subheading, which I kind of have been doing lately, is let's pick a different font and go all caps. And then I'm going to add some tracking here. So spacing between the letters. So sometimes the subheading goes above or below, it really just depends on what it says. And to make the make sure our headings are aligned. I'm going to do a line, a line to selection, and left align. Okay, so this is looking pretty good so far. We do have some overflow, which again, we don't have real text. But if we wanted to tweak that with the, either the size of the font, we could go down to nine and a half and try to get it all fit. I'm going to undo for now. Okay, something else I like to do to make people more interested in reading the article is to create a drop cap. So I'm going to zoom into this area and we're going to emphasize this L. So I'm going to cut that letter click out of the text area and make it again and increase that I might pick something more flourish flourishy or scripty or it could be modern it really just depends on what look you're going for and whether you want this to look more contemporary or traditional but you do want it to be legible Let's just, let's see what our title text would look like. Yeah, it looks a little too similar to me. Let's just make it a simple modern. And you can go really large. You could take up two lines, three lines, or more, really just depends. I'm going to try to align that for now. We could do a text wrap on this. Let's see what that looks like. Text wrap under object make. Okay. And since there is a line height on this letter, I'm actually going to be able to fine tune a little better if I make a square rectangle and put the wrap on that. I can adjust it better than I can the letter if I want to keep it live text. So let's go to object and make the text wrap and I'm going to remove the black so it's just invisible. Okay, let's zoom out. Okay, that's not particularly fancy. Maybe we could change it to a color. Okay, so some things I'm looking at is the overall space around the page, the margins. And let's say we wanted to add an image here. 
Now, if you're going to add an image, you could either make it to the width of the column, or maybe you want it to um, break into this margin. Let's do a text wrap on this. And let's say we need a caption. I'm going to make another text box. the caption a little bit smaller, italicized, and lighter, so it has a less of a hierarchy. And I do need a text wrap on this to push down our body copy. And depending on what your text says, you can move the image. A couple other points I want to make is if you're going to add spacing or scale something, do not stretch it. So as you are resizing, make sure you hold down shift when you're scaling so it scales proportionately. So we have a hierarchy here with the headline and subheading and the body copy being smaller. We could even try this with a sans serif. You also don't want to use too many fonts, so keep it simple. I'm using three already. So we want to stick to about three to have enough variety, but not too many fonts. Again, to help with hierarchy, we have a the text as black currently. For body copy, we do want a good contrast. Sometimes I'll go with a dark gray just to make it a little bit lighter than the headline. Another tip I want to point out is at the end of a sentence, you want to make sure you only have one space between the period and the next beginning sentence. So only one space. You also want to avoid any hanging single lines, as I mentioned with the words. You don't want one word at the end of a paragraph hanging by itself. You also don't want a single line. So right here, this is getting close to if I were to move up the line, this line would go to the next column and we would only have a single line here. So try to avoid that as well. For headlines, if you are using a script font, let's try that. Let's try a script font. You do want to make sure that you're using something that's legible. If you're using a fancier font such as this, You do not want to do a fancy or script font in all caps. This is just not legible at all. So keep it title case. Um, another tip for, um, let's say this uppercase, is if it was all lowercase, let me just show you for example. So instead of making all caps with my character palette, 
I could go to type, change case, uppercase. And we can also do something like this by going to type, change case, title case. And usually words, short words that are not as significant, we can make lowercase. So we could center this headline and see what that looks like. I'm going to do a paragraph align center and I'm also going to align it to the artboard. So that could work. Sometimes on a smaller subheading I might add some lines to the side. Using the pipe key I can is a shortcut to the line tool. And if I go to the stroke, and I usually want a really thin line, so I'll change that to a 0.25. And holding down option, I can click and drag, also holding shift to keep it in line. Try to center it vertically 